Hi, I'm Linda. Glad to have you back. Today I'm doing a simple seascape. I know you're going to love it. It's one that a beginner can do. It has a beautiful moon with some nice clouds and a beautiful little surf with some rocks on either side. Reflections in the water. It was a lot of fun to paint. I hope you can follow me. Pause and paint. And so let's get started. So here are the paints that I used. I used black acrylic for the base on the canvas and then oils liquid clear, liquid white, titanium white, phthalo blue, black, van dyke brown, cad yellow, and red. And so I just put a very thin coat of liquid clear all over that dried black canvas. And so now I'm taking some phthalo blue, just crisscross, just all over that, the front of that canvas, all the way down. Just smooth it out. Now I'm taking some titanium white, and I'm just doing soft little X strokes right above the halfway mark. Just gently going upward, and then I'm going to create a, a line just underneath the halfway mark. Now I'm following through more with some white, just gently buffing and pulling some of that paint up. You'll be picking some blue blue there. But picking up some blue, isn't it pretty? And just going across X strokes and it's like magic. The blue is coming through and it looks so pretty. And go all the way down to that right above the blue line that you made. Just buff it out. I've added a little white there. That is going to be where the moon is. Just uh, blend that the best you can. And I'm taking a blender brush, doing circular motions, just blending all that color together, softening it up. And it will blend out very nicely. So now I'm taking a little bit on my finger, titanium white, and making a little tiny white circle. That's where the moon's going to be. I'm taking my blender brush, softly going over that. Just very soft. And I'll do it again. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. About as big as you want. And then take the blender again. Just gently Soften the edges. So now I'm taking black and I'm going to create far, far, far away trees back there. You'll barely be able to see it. But since we've got a little bit of the light blue in there with white, you'll be able to see the distant horizon there. And go just above your blue line. Fan brush works good. Now I'm taking some uh, titanium white on a little fan brush. I think it's number four. And I'm going to do circular little circles, circular motions going toward the moon. I'm going to take my blender or two inch will work. Just softly make circles and blend that underneath, leaving the top line pretty much alone. But I'm taking some of that white paint down, bringing it down, and then brushing upward. Soft, soft cloud there. And I'm taking some more tiny titanium white on my fan brush. I'm going to make another row.
And then again, two inch or blender, go right underneath and blend out the bottoms of that white. You'll get some really nice effects, cloud effects. And you can put as many as you want. Okay, so I'm going to take my fan brush again. I'm going to put some clouds down below. Just little up and down movements there. Again, with the 2 inch, I'm just going to blend that out. And picking up some of the blue. And you can blend it. The more you blend it, the softer it's going to get. So, and then just brush across, lift up a little bit, put more on there if you want. And keep blending. And you'll get the neatest cloud effects by doing this little technique. Okay, so now I'm going back into my white and I'm going to create a water line way up, right underneath that blue line that you made. Take the fan brush and then gently pull down just a little bit because we're going to have a little bit of, bit of a surf right there. And tap your brush, load up again. I'm going to pull straight across, still picking up some of that pretty blue under there, and just gently pull down. Now with a clean brush, back into the titanium white. I'm going to create where the big wave is going to end. This is pretty much going to be the, the beginning of the shoreline. And that's going to be where the waves are going to go, the big waves right there. I'm going to arch downward. Okay, so now I'm taking my one inch and I'm just gently buffing the edge of that little wave there, just to soften it up put a little blue in there. The blue will shade that nicely. Now a little bit of blue and black. Taking a little liner brush. I'm just going to go right on the top of that little wave and I'm going to put a dark, dark line there. And it's going to arch, arch downward. So now with that blue and a little bit of black, a little more white, it's kind of a, I created a little bit of a, a light gray. And I'm doing some circular motions. The waves are crashing. There, I'm going to have some, a big rock right there, but I'm making the, the crashes right now. So blend it blending it into the wave. Just circular motions. Still picking up some of that blue. And I'm going to go on top of that wave and do circular motions on, on the top. Creating a little splashies up there. And I'm going to bring that down, follow that dark line down, continue with some more splashes. And with some white, 
clean white titanium. I'm making a little wave that comes straight down. Just arch it a little bit. Just pull down lightly. So now I'm adding uh, some little crashes, little waves underneath that uh, water we just put in there with the fan brush. Just little circular motions I'm making uh, with some white, brighter um, waves on top of that big wave. Just gently little circles there. See how pretty that looks? Now I'm taking a little blender brush, just gently, gently uh, circular motions just to soften some of those bottom edges. Go into that blue line we made and just soften that up very lightly. Blend it out. Now back into the tit tit titanium white. I'm going to put on reflection from the moon. Pulling down. Just push and pull. Lifting up as you go down. And then just pull a little bit over there to the shore. Take a clean brush and brush across very lightly just to blend it a little and then the other way. Now I'm taking some phthalo with a little white mix to it so it's not so dark and I'm going to create some water uh, splashes kind of down below the big one and Kind of lifting upward there with the fan brush, keeping the direction of how the wave is gonna is falling, and little squiggly lines coming down. I'm taking a little a liner brush and I just dipped it in that same blue. Just creating some little squiggly lines, water water lines that are trickling down there. Now with the fan brush, I'm just adding a few white uh, lines coming off that big wave from the top down. Just just brushing really lightly, squiggling a few extra little lines in there. Now I'm taking some Van Dyke Brown with a little black in it, making it really dark. And I'm putting in a rock formation there. Come out into the water just a little bit. Now I'm taking some Van Dyke Brown with a little red touch of white and just a touch of yellow. I've got like three colors on there and just pull down and you'll be surprised what you can get a marble effect with um, making cliffs and rocks. And if you think you have too much light color, add a little dark brown in there. Pretty much shape it however you want. Adding that little red and yellow is pretty. I'm putting some white, like water, running off at the top of that rock. 
And it is highlights from, from the moon, actually, too. The moon is quite bright, so you want to highlight the tops a little bit. So now I'm taking a, a palette knife with some titanium white, and I'm just gliding uh, along that edge right where the water is, is coming down, and just following around the rock. And then I'm taking a fan brush and pulling some of that white up a little bit. Like the water's flowing into that right onto the shoreline there. Can make some really cool effects with the fan brush and the palette knife. And pulling down a little white there too, the reflections in the water, and then brushing across. So I'm using the palette knife again, making uh, some more water lines there. Kind of de defining it a little better. And water lines across. And I'm taking the palette knife and putting some uh, foamies or water up there. I think if you think it's too much, add a little blue to it. So now I've got a liner brush with some white and doing some little squiggly lines in the eye. So now I'm creating that other rock on the right side with some dark brown and black. And I'm taking some Van Dyke brown, a little red touch of yellow. I'm going to just pull down, create some, some different areas of the rock there. Putting a little color in there. Looks like water dripping down. A little yellow and red on top. Just make it however you want. Well, I think I have a finished painting here. A few extra lines here with the palette knife around that rock. I really enjoyed painting this. If you'd like to see more, Click the like button, follow me, share if you want. So until then, happy painting and God bless.